Sydney Gang. <laughs> Take him nice and slow, tie your moat. Feels like a good one. That's a that's a strong rod too, so he's pulling that hard on that one. Don't pull it too high. Let let him. Uh... Oh, Greg, oh. <laughs> he's a big one, buddy. Jeez. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let him play. Just let him play. Whoa! Oh. Oh. This might be a lake trout. Oh. He's a big one, though. He's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> well done, buddy. <laughs> okay, you gotta throw him back in? Yep. Pick him up, throw him back in. Hachi! <laughs> this guy. Yeah. Hey. Throw him back in. Have fun. Nice. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's a monster. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. Oh yeah. All right. Another one. Let's go. Well Griff, how's the fishing been? We have caught four fish within minutes. Seriously <laughs> minutes. And all monster trout. Seriously, all of them are about the size of a lake trout on a normal lake. Like, yep. They're huge, absolutely monstrous. And if we keep this up, we'll have more than enough stuff. Like we're just doing get one and throw it back in, but it's just amazing yeah. how we've caught them like this. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> like this is the best fishing I've done in my life, period. Absolutely, buddy. They're all so big. I'm, I could not be happier to share this with you on a beautiful night like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a dream come true for me, buddy. What about you? What about me? Absolutely. <laughs> you want to show them the view that we got? I know, eh? Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Here, West. No, it's okay. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to be on Use the clothes. Use the clothes. Here, little cafe. We can get the trouble. Oh, yeah. Oh, geez, I do not like these. That's nasty. Really? Literally, handprints. Cool. Humans from 4,000 years ago. Oh, you so cool. Oh, it is. Like, actually, cavemen. We woke up this morning, the weather wasn't cooperating like it has been for the last four days. So we got a little bit of a rain going on right now and we're going to have to be packing up our campsite. We're moving campsites today. The sky doesn't look too dark and from where the wind is coming it actually looks uh, fairly clear out there. So maybe this will pass and we'll be able to pack up our camp and uh, we'll be able to pack up our camp when it's not raining. That would be ideal. So this is why I like having the jet boil. I just made Griffey some oatmeal. He's in the tent having that. I'm going to have mine and uh, some tea. Got my rain jacket on and I uh, got my kayak, Kokatat uh, kayak pants on, which have booties. They're like uh, waders. And um, you put it right in my water shoes and you can in and out of streams and in and out of the canoe without getting wet. And then if you got to carry rain pants, why not just carry a pair of waders, right? They're not like neoprene waders. They're actually uh, a lot thinner, completely waterproof. And I've had them for a few years now. They've been great. I think we're going to be lucky with the weather today. There's not a lot of wind and uh, the clouds look fairly uh, light. So it could just be a day of drizzle, which we've dealt with before in the past. And really, it's not too bad as long as the wind doesn't pick up. Today's a day of travel. We got a little paddle, probably about four, 
four or five hours to get to our next campsite. If the wind picks up and the water gets rough, there's going to be campsites along the way that we can uh, cut our trip short and uh, set up camp there. But ideally, uh, we have a destination in mind we'd like to get to. Last night, me and Griff hit the water at uh, sunset. It was beautiful, and we, uh, within an hour, we caught uh, four monster trout. So um, it was really exciting to see them uh, out there. It's not too often when you can get out um, where everything cooperates, the, the weather, um, the fishing. You know, great company, my son and my good, two good friends. Nice to get out here, and uh, uh, again, I encourage you to try to get out on these trips. It's uh, physically taxing. I'm not going to uh, sugarcoat that. And uh, there's a good reason why we're here for three nights just to rest our bones and uh, recover from uh, two days of hard work to get here. But, you know, you don't catch fish from the highway. If you want to catch fish uh, generally, um, you got to put the work in to get to places where most people won't go to, right? So that's what I enjoy doing. I enjoy the remoteness of uh, being out here and not seeing anybody. Catching fish pretty much at will. And just enjoying the overall solitude of this beautiful place. So I hope you like enjoy the it. design is just brilliant. Yep, the board breaks the plane. Let's take this. So here we are, we just got camp packed up, 15 minutes ago the wind picked up and now there's white caps on the water. So it's kind of funny how things work, sometimes you just got to roll with the punches, it's a little frustrating, we're ready to, to get rolling and uh, now we're, we're kind of windbound on our campsite with all our gear packed in our pack. So um, we'll have to make a decision, we'll have to wait here a little while, see if the wind uh, slows down and we can make some progress. We're going along the shoreline so um, we don't have to cross any open water. But to even be close to the shoreline with the size of the waves that are out there, it's not safe to, to be on the water. So we are literally going to have to hang out in our camp with all our gear packed in our packs, ready to go. But that is uh, adventure. That is how these things roll sometimes. So it's not always, uh, it doesn't always go according to script. And what makes this water tough for us is that uh, the wind is coming opposite the shoreline we're going to be following. So the waves have a lot of time over the lake to build up. I don't know if you can see the video, but there's white caps on the middle of the lake. Because the wind changes up here so quickly. And uh, just when you think you can hug the shoreline and it's protected and it's calm while you look out at the middle of the lake and it's rough, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just my luck, but the wind changes or you hit a bay and the wind comes flying off there. And it's, uh, it's just dangerous. You can be caught in a bad situation really quickly. And uh, as you saw earlier in the video, I mean, there's uh, ice chunks flowing in this water. So the last thing we want to do is go for a swim. And as much as it's frustrating having to uh, sit here and kill time, hoping that the wind dies down, um, just you got to be safe, you got to be smart, make smart decisions. It's easy to get reckless and uh, just kind of say, well, we'll give it a shot. But it's really not worth it. If you truly are having your life in your own hands out here, there's no one to save you. So you've got to uh, manage risk, right? You've got to plan well. We, we plan a lot for these trips of all the different scenarios. You know, I always say if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And uh, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to wash up the shore soaking wet, trying to swim and get your gear. You don't want to do that. And there's some, yeah, there's definitely some big waves out here. So we're going to be uh, sitting in camp for a while. Oh, there we go. I told you, about yay long, they look so, like a Look like an earthworm when you first see them. Me and Griff were uh, windbound, so we decided to kill some time and go turn over some logs and look what we found. We were, this is actually what we were looking for. So there you go. You never know what you're going to find. Make the best of it. That's kind of cool, huh? Yeah. yeah. 
That was just underneath the uh, rotten undergrowth. Yeah, just underneath, underneath a rotten log and kind of a depression in the forest there. It's kind of funny actually. Griff has been wanting. Griff and Bill were talking about these salamanders, and of course, my son, being 11 years old, wants to find one. So you know, this is a perfect time, right? We're windbound. I said, "All right, Griff, let's go." Uh, <laughs> I said, all right, Griff, let's go see if we can find one and turn over trees, turn over, there's a ton of uh, birch trees that fall over there in the on the forest uh, floor that are just rotten and you flip them around and and uh, there we go, we found one, it's kind of neat. I think it's you with it. It's an adorable little guy, he's so tiny, you can let's see he's got his him. legs. Okay, hold him still. It's very cool. I'll just move a bit, yeah. Yeah, there he goes. He's adorable though. All right, you I got, got You got video of him? Listen, buddy, we're going to let him go, and you got video of him to remember him by, okay? All right. All right. Got to put him away. Though. Nice swampy, uh, rusty log. The wind's died down enough to get out on the water and feel safe about paddling. We got our salamander or skink. I'm not sure what it is exactly. Um, but uh, we got that uh, in the books now. If he's all excited about that, that'll keep him smiling for a while. And we're gonna hit the water. We got a lot of paddling to do. So the nice thing is, there's lots of uh, areas to pull in if the water gets rough. So that's something we factored in while we're doing this. So you can see how the weather changes. It's a beautiful day now. Not a cloud in the sky after it was raining all morning. We're in a nice little stretch here where the wind is actually at our back, which is good. I'll take that any day. And we're just enjoying some of the scenery. We just pulled off to shore, take off our rain jackets and our rain gear. We were heating up. And we're just enjoying the paddle. And we're about an hour or two away from our next campsite. It'll be pretty good. Hopefully the weather cooperates. This is, uh, this is really nice to have this type, type of weather on a trip like this. These guys keep popping up in my video every year. I don't know what's going on.